So, um, I found that with private education, they put a lot of pre like unnecessary pressure on you. When now, like those grades worked out well for them. It was all a marketing point basically, and they put so much extreme pressure on you so that they can advertise your grades to the public, and it's a cycle of getting new people in, and they're actually expanding like how many people they accept each year, just putting more people under that stress and parents think that it's beneficial for their kids yeah. but you just kind of I mean it, it has been useful in some aspects like the teaching quality is really good but I've like been this theory has been drilled into me like no matter what I do it's got to be like you've got to have extreme hard work and you can't let yourself stop and it's just not humanly possible and you end up burnt out and <laughs> it's all pointless and things. GCSEs were a waste of time because I don't use any of the things that I learned from them in the first place. Like for me. I did five years of maths lessons to never know so a good single one. equation yeah. or formula or like how to expand a bracket. When have I ever needed to expand a bracket in real life? The only useful things that came out of them were what well, I went on to do at A-level but even then I did a history GCSE and none of the content, I mean I suppose maybe it's just yeah. interesting for life but like, none of the content was useful for my A-level but then I'm not even going to use my A-level history for my degree but then at the same time you need to do something so it's a really weird balance so you can't just like I didn't know I wanted to do a drama A level. I mean, like a drama degree. So like how was I meant? Is it? It's a lot. I don't know. It's just like a journey that you have to figure out. But there were some things that I could have eliminated a lot sooner from the beginning. I knew I was never going to do a physics degree or become a mechanical engineer. So why would I need to know about I don't know Boyle's law or something? It's just a waste of time. Whereas now. When I'm actually doing drama and know that's not what I want to do, and I actually like have creative freedom in that and can act and can use those skills for something that I actually want to do. It's just that your creativity is limited when you go, when you walk into a history lesson. That is the that is the syllabus. You will be learning about World War Two and the Tudors and Black Death, and that's it. Whereas I found with some subjects of drama, art, music, there's those topics that actually allow you to make a choice. So drama, you have your device piece, art, uh, you create your own project, you can choose what you want to do, music, you can compose a piece. Um, even in English you do a creative writing task, that's your personal choice what you do that on. Whereas in a math syllabus, the only equation you need to learn is that's that. I wasn't sure at the beginning if I was going to do a drama degree. I was, I was looking into English literature first because I've always enjoyed English lit and I love my English lit classes. But when I researched into the degree a bit more, I realised that it wasn't for me. As much as I enjoy it at A level, it's not what I wanted to do. So then I looked into English literature and drama together because I was scared to dedicate myself to what I really wanted to do even though I'd spent so much time in the drama department in extracurricular clubs I was completely devoted to that department but I still wouldn't devote myself to what I wanted to do because of that idea that if I do a drama degree I'm not going to get anywhere in life I'm not going to make any money I'm going to fail and I'm going to waste I'm going to be piled high in debt and not have any prospects but I just realised that at the end of the day I wanted to do what I want to do and Yum. if I do an English I degree and hate those. my life what's the point in that because I'm not going to get a job that I like and it's just going to be pointless so whereas yeah. at least if I do a drama degree I can figure it out from there find opportunities and actually um, experience things so, um, so, the pressure, I think, probably stemmed from multiple places. If you look at family, I would say that, in some ways, it probably was 
partially family. I mean, my dad's always been quite like high, you want to achieve high, but he doesn't put that much pressure on me to achieve it. But then teachers at school definitely also put that pressure on you. It depends on teachers. Some of them are really understanding and do try and act and challenge that, but others don't really understand. If you look back at like my childhood. My gra grandma made me do Berry Grammar School past papers to like for the entrance exam like once a week from like the age of eleven for like a year. I did like she had the past papers that went back to like nineteen ninety something. So clearly, like the fear of failure and the need for preparation was put into me from a young age, which I think had pa was partially to do with it. It's just sort of that. I did, everyone does it when they're young, you know, you've done a test and it's like, oh, no, you get, you get, and then everybody's asking each other and you think, <laughs> it's just the idea that you get to be the best. And I don't really know why that's ingrained into you. I think that's just something that school sort of subtly does. You don't really notice it necessarily. It's not like they say directly to you, you have to be the top of your class, but that, I think specifically at my school, like primary school, that like competitive nature is into that. And then you start comparing yourself to others and then if you do better than someone else, it's kind of sad but you're happy about that when you really shouldn't be like celebrating with other people's losses but in some aspects you are. They just make you feel rubbish if you're you you using people on Instagram and things like going out and you're sad and you're rising and it just makes you question like why am I putting myself in social jeopardy or <laughs> to be yeah. dramatic of the phrase um, when or certainly at my school when they're going out doing that but also it doesn't seem to affect them oh yeah Oh yeah.